purpose of this video is to get an exceptional images out of Autodesk Inventor and into your portfolio. If you'll notice, I already have a 3D model up. I'm using the HAL V Twin as an example. This is a pretty awesome model. All right. If you can see, also, I've got it positioned to where uh, the, the view that I would like to be exported into my portfolio. You can go with various different views. You can go for the right view, the front view, so on and so forth. I decided to go with a, a, a semi-quasi three-quarter view for a dramatic look. And if you'll notice, it's kind of uh, tilted and um, it's got a pretty decent look to it. All right, so I've decided that for my portfolio. What I'm going to go ahead and do is go over to the Inventor application menu, and I'm going to go to Export, and you'll notice that there's Image. Click on that, and I'll browse to the directory that I've created for my project here, or for my portfolio project. And in here, I have an Inventor Images folder. I would suggest the same, but I would suggest and set it off the C drive for the purpose of this video. Uh, I would suggest that you use your U drive and create a folder specifically for your Inventor images so you'd have them all collected in one space where you can, you're able to uh, sort through them and actually pick and choose for later on when using PowerPoint. All right, so I've created a folder here, Inventor images. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in there. But here, I'm going to go ahead and label in case I decide to make other images like a front, a top, a side, so on and so forth. Uh, images, I can easily pick them from, say, another program like PowerPoint or whatnot. All right. And if you notice, I've got the Hal V Twin Engine, and I'm going to call this 3.4 view. Okay. And that, to me, I can see that that's the three-quarter view. But say if this was going to be the top view, I could name this like top or bottom, so on and so forth. But since this is the three-quarter view, and so I'll know what this means. Uh, you cannot use backslashes or slashes when you're naming things. So a dot or a dash would work. Now the next step is to go into options and we're going to set our amount of pixels. So I'm going to go with something that's a little bit standard. I'm going to go with 1024 by 1024. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now if you notice save as uh, type, I have JPEG listed. That's for overall compatibility, and JPEG's got a pretty good compression ratio, right? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and save it. It'll save. Now over here, I'm going to go ahead and browse to that folder. And you'll notice that I have the folder all set up right there, and there is my image. I'm go ahead and open it up, kind of take a look at it. Looks pretty nice for 1024 by 1024. I'll go ahead and close it down. And now at this time, I would suggest that you go ahead and go to, over to PowerPoint and go ahead and import it in. And this is where getting getting too high in your pixel count can actually cause a lot of trouble. If you go too high and it's too high res of an image, actually PowerPoint will start to complain and crash. So what I would suggest is if you're doing small pictures of their like little sectional views or whatnot, 1024 is pretty decent. All right, we'll go ahead and import this with insert function, browse to our picture and insert. And if you notice for that sheet it's formatted by 17 by 11 it's not too bad. Go ahead and size it down and as you can see it's not bad. Alright that concludes the part about the 3D model. We'll move on to IDWs. I'll go back over to Inventor and I've got a start of an IDW file right here. I'm not using one that's been completed already because this video could be used where uh, people would be able to see how to do a certain drawing. So I'm just going to use a blank IDW because most of you all know what an IDW is and this will be a good example. Now un unlike what we did before we're not going to export this as an image and there's two reasons. If you can see right around the outside of the actual sheet of that drawing sheet you can see that there's this gray background. If you go to go export it as a JPEG, you're going to get that gray background. We don't want that. So instead, we're going to go to the Inventor application menu. We're going to go to export, and we're going to go to PDF. Now, there's a couple options here which we want to touch on 
with exporting it to a PDF. So second, we're going to browse to our project directory, oh, project, and invent our images. And we're going to put the PDF in there. Go to options. Now notice how there's a little bit uh, of options here. It says current sheet. Now if you have a bunch of sheets that you're going to go ahead and print, this kind of helps, especially if there are several IDWs. All right. All colors are black, you can move all object line, line weights, all that stuff. Now generally I would go between 4 and 600, okay? Especially if you're only going to use this as a sectional. Now you can do a 600 DPI if you're going to use the whole sheet. But then again, you just might as well go ahead and print out the whole IDW. But if you're going to do a large portion of the sheet, I would go anywhere between 4 and 600 DPI. We'll go ahead and click OK. We'll do 600 for the uh, purpose of uh, illustration here, and we'll save. Now, once again, if you do, if you watch the AutoCAD tutorial, you'll notice that Adobe Reader pops up and some options. Go ahead and hit Cancel, and we're going to close out a Reader. We're not going to mess with Reader. We'll browse to our location where Inventor Images is, and you'll see, hey, there's the Inventor D Proto right there. Now we'll right-click on it, and instead of opening with Adobe Reader, we're going to go to uh, Open With. And if you notice, there's a difference between Adobe Acrobat and Adobe Reader. We're going to open it with Adobe Acrobat. And what do you know? There's our sheet. And if you notice, now this is, this is Adobe's uh, default background uh, here, this, this dark gray instead of that lighter gray, as you can see in the image here. All right? So it's only this white sheet right here. Now, the next thing we want to do is go to File save as other and we want to go over to image now if you don't have these options you're not in Adobe Acrobat Pro you're in Adobe Acrobat Reader so be sure to look up at the top top left corner here and make sure you're in Acrobat Pro we're gonna to go to file save as other image then JPEG I can see in our inventor images there's another JPEG in there we're gonna to go to settings here and we're going to go to maximum, maximum, and if you'll notice, the resolution is 300. Okay, 300 is dumbing it down for uh, for PowerPoint. We can always dumb it down. We can't always go up. If you keep on scaling up in your resolution, you're going to have anomalies in your image, and it's not going to look so great. So we're going to only do 300 here, and click OK, and then save. And then Adobe does its little thing down here, if you notice. Then we're going to go over to PowerPoint, and we're going to make sure that our image can, can be imported in. So go to Picture, and then there's our Inventor D prototype, and we'll insert. Now if you notice there, it took a little while. All right. If it doesn't even show up, that means you're doing too high of DPI, and you might need to trim down things and repeat some of the steps that I just showed you. All right. Now, if you notice that we have a pretty good image here, and uh, the, even if we scale it up, it'll actually look pretty good. Go ahead and Zoom on in and you can see that actually some of the numbers and everything as you zoom in look not too bad. All right. Well, if you have any questions, you can ask either your instructor or one of the tutors or even uh, some of the tech guys and we'll give you a little bit of help. But this was to uh, this concludes the tutorial for uh, the inventor uh, images, either IDW or 3D models, into uh, PowerPoint. Hope it was some help. Thank you very much. And if you have any feedback, feel free to give it back to uh, tech support team. Thank you.